Hi everyone, I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing here to review for you a pair of top boxer gloves. They're made by, I think his name is Irfan, Irfan Muhammad. He's in Pakistan. So this is very interesting because I'm not a fan of Pakistan made gloves. I don't believe they can make quality gloves. I don't believe that their country, their culture is built for quality. I think they're like one of those mass produced countries. You know, like China, China, well, China's known for making high quality things like Apple iPhones, but they're also known for making, you know, just the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest stuff possible to just sell and make a profit. And Pakistan is kind of like that for leather goods. They just sell the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest stuff. Um, they sell a lot of cheap gloves. That, you know, you, the stuff you see on titleboxing.com that's selling for $150, you could buy that for $12, $8. So it really is that cheap. So, um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Pakistan because I don't believe that they make quality gloves. I don't believe that they use quality leather, the way they process it, I don't even think they know how. Um, and then their craftsmanship, I think is lazy, they take shortcuts, they take corners. And they also, they don't have a culture for boxing, you know? Japan has a boxing culture, Mexico has a boxing culture. Even Thai, Thailand has a boxing culture. Americans have a boxing culture. Just that, you know, our cost of labor is so high that we wouldn't want to buy uh, gloves made in America because of how much they cost. But anyway, there's a guy named Irfan Muhammad, and he, uh, you know, I read about his story, and this guy has, has pretty much bought all the top gloves out there. He's opened them up, he's surgically dissected them, and he's like tried to craft his own pu uh, perfect glove. And he's tried it for many years, many models, he's learned steps along the way. He opened up old gloves, and you know, it was just very, you could tell, you can tell this guy's like very personally fascinated by how, you know, by how the, the glove makers, the, the, the master glove makers from back in the days were making gloves. And he tried to copy some of their techniques and then he also innovated some of his own. Or so the story was told. Anyway, I contacted him, I ordered some gloves because I want to see for myself. I heard good things and not only did I order some gloves but I also spent some time with them to be able to review them for you today. So first off, I got two gloves. I have the stock pair and I have a custom pair. So I'm gonna show you the stock pair first. They come with this logo. So, uh, I don't know if the camera can, okay, they come with this logo right here. I, I didn't care what stock pair he sent me actually. I just said, send me whatever pair, you know. I was hoping he would send me a bad pair, right? I don't want people to, to make a special pair for me because they know I'm gonna review it. So um, he sent me a many Pacquiao pair of gloves. So uh, I will say this, right off the bat when I look at these pairs of gloves, this pair of gloves, I can tell right away whoever made this intended to make it with quality. I can tell right away. I don't know how much he sells these for. I think they're online, they're on eBay for $70, $80. Totally worth it. I've seen gloves being sold for $120. They're not made as well as this. The stitching is very tight. Uh, I wish I could show you another pair of Pakistan made gloves. Ah, here we go. Here we have a highly rated ring to cage. And here, you know, maybe later you'll just have to see close up pictures on my website. But you can see this, the stitching on this one is like twice as wide, right? Like between each stitch interval is, is like the gap is twice as much. These are very tight, double stitched. So I mean, this guy intended to have quality. Other funny things he did, you can tell, I can tell when somebody does something unique, they're not just copying. He put a lot of holes. <laughs> he put holes all over the glove to make it more breathable. I think it's funny, but I, I appreciate it. I know, because I've never seen this whole pattern before. Another thing, is that the way he built the thumb is very comfortable. I won't give away the secrets, I won't give away everything, but I can totally tell, like, I can totally tell that he was inspired by winning gloves because of the winning thumb is like small and curved. You know, most thumbs out there, they're kind of big and floppy like this. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you another thumb out here. Okay, this, oh, these are Pakistan made. So you can see it's, it's a big floppy thumb. It's, it's like a wing, like a Star, Star Wars wing. So the thumb is very ergonomic, very comfortable. The strap is high quality, secure. So like, I, they're 14 ounces, but I feel very protected. They're good. Um, the padding feels good. It's solid. I hit the bag. Uh, how does the cushion feel? Is it like winning? Because this guy, this guy's really trying to copy the top brands. He's trying to mix like a bit of the grant, a bit of the winning, something very cushioned, soft, pillowy, but at the same time, like nice support. Feels solid when you hit the bag. So I like that. Also, the gloves are very ergonomic. I had some female friends uh, look at these pairs of gloves side by side with other gloves. 
And you know, even they could tell that there was something very ergonomic about these gloves. You, you can't, you won't notice it at first, uh, but when, when you hold them side by side with other gloves, you can see it. Other gloves are kind of like big pillow, kind of stiff and boxy. You know, if I, I show you right here, you can see this, there's a little bit of a contour right here to, to fit more of um, this part of the hand because the back of the hand is not flat and a lot of gloves are flat on the back of the hand uh, the back of the hand but right here we have a little bit of this thing and, and you see he has this it's very ergonomic I think it's cool and then also the thumb you see his thumb kind of sharpens up it's smaller it, it's more comfortable I don't know what it is I think doing this smaller thumb is harder to do because maybe the way that, that you have to bend the leather around to make it look nice and normal you see right here they didn't, they, they, his thumb wasn't as small, but already you see all these like, like, like wrinkles that he had to tack on and maybe it's a pain in the butt to make. I don't know, I don't make gloves, but, but that's what I'm feeling when, when I look at different brands and stuff. So these were the stock pair. So people are asking me, oh, is there a difference between the stock pair and the custom pair? Uh, yes, there's a difference. So the stock pair, uh, I don't know what these go for. I think they're very fairly priced for what you get. They do feel like a solid pair of gloves that are intended to be quality. Um, I think, like I said, probably $70, something, where, uh, maybe even $100, I don't know. I think they're, they're very fairly priced. Now, let's get to the custom gloves. Do -do! I got black and gold. I love these. This is not real crocodile. This is croc print, okay? This is uh, croc printed leather. So, it's not real crocodile. First off, right off the bat, I started laughing already. You can see the thumb. This, this for me, the, the signature of, of Earthen signature. He makes a very comfortable thumb. You see it's very ergonomic. You put it in, oh, it is a pillow all the way around. Everything is, he really did capture like the pillowy essence of winning. Now is the leather, is the foam the same? No, it is not the same. Winning has their own special foam formula. It feels different. It's like pillowy, but also very protective. It's, this is not that, but this is also very, very protective. If somebody wanted to argue with me and say that uh, top boxer gloves were more protective, I wouldn't argue with them at all. I would say, yeah, I can see why you would say that. Um, they're very protective. Now, when you do custom gloves, he will ask for your hand measurements, like the, the length of your hand, your wrist, and the, the, the palm width, and he'll build the glove exactly for your hand. He built it for me. I love mine. They feel perfect. They feel perfect, perfect. They are a joy to train with. I love punching. I love punching all kinds of things with them. They feel great. Now, let's talk about the interesting things on here. So it was funny, uh, you know, I talked to him about welted seams because I, he, I asked him about, you know, glove construction and what, what he felt. I wanted to know his opinion. It was funny because he talked to me about welted seams. Uh, welted seams is this thing right here where you see, you see a little uh, slice of leather, like kind of the edge of the leather in between the leather gaps, right? You know, and he was telling me, hey, you know, back the old school, the old school days, they used to do welted seams for, you know, higher quality construction and longer lasting. But he said, nowadays, we don't need to do that. There's other ways to make a glove last long. So he told me that, but then my glove had welted seams. So I kind of laughed about that. Right here, I don't know, so let's talk about the unique things. Uh, I appreciate the really tight stitching, really, really, really tight stitching like this. <laughs> this guy wants a glove to last. You can tell it's an A quality. The super tight stitching. The, the way the, the, the leather was wrinkled, you know, he, he, he wrinkled it very perfectly. It's very clean and very balanced. A lot of times the, the wrinkles are kind of messy, like more on one end than on the other. Um, but you can tell the way they build the wrinkles. Even this right here, you know how he wrinkled it on the, the curve of the thumb, then right here was very smooth at the tip. It takes a lot of time, man. I, I, can, I can feel it. Right here, the, you know, I've never seen anybody stitch the side like that. We have a welted seam, but then they have this little outside stitch. I don't know, like something feels very extra about it. It's very unique. I wouldn't even know how to judge it. And I would have to wear these gloves for a long time and, and, and to watch them fall apart, you know, to, to, to really be able to judge. Um, right here, I noticed he, he choked the end of the fist right here, or, or not choked, but, but it was stitched in right here. That's kind of cool, you know. A lot of other gloves, you see like this one, it didn't have that, right? It just, the bar just goes all the way across. So I can feel the little extra measures. Also right here, he has kind of like a bar right here. It's kind of interesting. It's like, it's like a parry bar or I don't know if you, you want to chop a kick, block a kick, but it, it's very cool. You know, it's a, it's a very cool way to give you like a little blade to um, block punches. But other than that, you know, I love the design. You know, you, he, he also, he, he poked a whole bunch of holes. There's extra holes in here for breathability. 
But yeah, the quality is great, the protection is great, the craftsmanship is great. The only thing that we need to do is I just need to beat up these gloves for five years and, and be able to tell you, know, give you the final say, right? Now, what about the leather quality? You know, do I feel the leather quality is as good as winning? No, I don't. I like that when I smell these gloves, I don't smell like uh, heavy chemicals. You know, some Pakistan gloves or, or, you know, or some Mexican gloves, they smell a lot of heavy chemicals. It smells clean, you know, but do I think it's the highest grade leather? No, I do not. Um, so only time will tell uh, how well the leather will last. I absolutely love my custom gloves. I don't know, I think you can make for $150 or so. These are so worth it. They feel so uh, super comfortable. You thought of everything. If I could describe it, uh, you know, I also appreciate the quality laces as well, okay? Um, what can I say? The, the protection is great, the feel is great, the construction is great. I appreciate the unique design. Everything is good. The only thing left is they need to stand the test of time, and then I can tell you guys where they hold up against all the other, you know, the big brands, Reyes, Winning, Rival, Denardo. Anyway, if you like this video, you like the reviews, boxing guys, please check out my website, expertboxing.com. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.